All right, guys, today let's talk about some knives for EDC for beginners slash kids or younger people. And when I mean kids, I don't necessarily mean like, you know, two-year-olds, three-year-olds. Obviously, they need to be responsible enough to handle knives. And that is something that, you know, each parent is going to have to make a distinct, you know, choice or, you know, a... a a point in their mind when they feel comfortable for their kids to have sharp things, right? Um, so obviously this is not going to be a one size fits all for every age group, but this is a pretty accurate guide, at least in my opinion, for choosing tools that are very effective for younger populations or people who are not super familiar with knives. So first off, I think the best one and the one that I think most kids at least start with, something that basically I started with was a Swiss Army knife or a Victorinox. Um, these are basically as simple as it gets, you know, and I think the fact of the matter that it doesn't lock, like some people think that, you know, having a locking blade for a young one is super important. And I actually think that having something like a slip joint can be a little bit more valuable because one, when it comes to locking mechanisms, especially on a lot of knives, most locking mechanisms are not super user friendly, especially for people who don't understand the concept. So something like this liner lock, if you're not careful, like to depress the lock, the blade is going to come back onto you right so it doesn't necessarily mean it's the worst knife in the world but you can very easily cut yourself trying to disengage the lock on this knife so in some ways by negating the locking mechanism as a whole it really teaches a young person or a beginner in knives to respect that blade and understand that you know in order for me to disengage this lock i need to move all of my you know slicey bits out of the way and then close it right so this can actually teach you a lot of respect for that blade and at the same time too and at the same time too, so long as the child understands the concept that this is sharp and can cut them, you know, it's very important to know and it's nice to develop, you know, like fundamental strategies and thinking of like, maybe I shouldn't put my thumb on the back of that blade, right? Or to understand that, you know, this blade can fold in on me. So it helps to create this level of like caution and responsibility within a child's mind or like I said a beginner's mind to say like maybe I shouldn't do anything stupid with this knife because it could come back to bite me quite literally like this could come back and bite them so that's part of the reason why I like things like the Victorinox it's also very practical and useful so you know, they're more likely to carry and really see or understand the functionality of a tool like this. So if you try to get a child who may not be into, you know, knives or tools that much, something like a multi-tool is going to be pretty useful because they can realize that like, hey, you know, this also comes with scissors. This also comes with a saw, you know, a, a can opener or a bottle opener. Um, you know, it comes with a number of functional tools that are not strictly relegated to cutting things, right? So um, that is what I like about starting off with a Victorinox or Swiss Army knife. Like I said, this is what I started with. Um, I actually didn't start with this one specifically, but my like first real, um, not like quite knife, but like tool that I got as a kid was, um, I'm trying to remember, is made by Wenger. I believe it was the Hiker, I want to say. Um, but anyways, those have been since replaced by Victorinox, so you can no longer get the Wenger um, brand tools, but I believe mine was like a Wanger hiker. And, uh, that was once again, a tool that growing up, I had it on me, not just because of the knives so I could cut things, but also because it had other tools in it that were very useful for other daily tasks. So anyways, that is, I think like the best thing to get for a kid. Um, once they are responsible enough to use, um, sharp edged tools, but uh, yeah, so Sertium was some kind of Victorinox. The Huntsman was what I showed there. And I think the Huntsman is a really practical tool. It has a lot of um, different functionalities or tools to use in the wilderness, especially. So it makes it for a great choice. So stepping up into tools proper, or sorry, stepping into knives proper, like an actual knife. The first knife that I got like was for like an actual real knife was the Benchmade uh, 550 
was the Benchmade 550 Griptilian. And so this was my first one. You guys can see it's well loved, it's well used, but uh, this was like my first legitimate knife once I began to learn about knives and got interested into them. So I think this is another really solid choice. Now, unfortunately, like back in my day, some people might like look at this video now in like 2023 and say, what, you were like, you know, a teenager and you got like a Benchmade Griptilian? You know, aren't those things like a hundred, you know, 50 bucks? Back in my day, as I sound like an old person, but not really. Uh, honestly, though, back in my day, these things were like 60 to $70. And so they were, you know, like something that as a mid teenager, like I think it was around like 14, maybe 15 or something when I first got one of these, it was something that, you know, you can go do yard tasks, you know, like going mowing people's lawns, stuff like that. You know, you could do like just basic work and work for a couple days, you know, once again, like mowing people's lawns, doing different tasks around people's houses, and they would like pay you, you know, for different chore tasks, I guess you could say for your neighbors and such. And so that's kind of how I got the money to get this because I got it with my money or with my own money. Like I didn't, you know, have my parents buy it uh, specifically. So anyways, you know, like you could do, uh, you know, maybe a week's worth of work and, you know, get enough money for something like this Benchmade Griptilian. That's what I did. And so that's how I ended up with this guy as my first knife or first like real blade. So this is, was my first choice. Um, we're going to go over a few others that I think are also solid choices. But, you know, once someone's getting into knives or still kind of new, but they know they want something that's, you know, a little bit better than just like a random gas station knife, this is where I would usually recommend because once again to beginners that access lock is very nice because you do not put any of your slicey bits in front of the action of the blade so it's very user friendly in addition the access lock is nice and tough so once again for that tomfoolery of like striking ferro rods or being a little bit more abrasive to your knife uh, something like the access lock on the griptilian can handle that Okay, moving into another one that I also think is very good as a beginner blade or a first knife. Once again, for that person who might, you know, want something to step up from something like a Victorinox, a Spyderco Delica 4 is really hard to beat as well for an option. And honestly, I would say it's probably a genuine toss up between the Delica 4 and the Benchmade Griptilian or maybe Mini Griptilian. Um, both of them tend to run around the same price points and uh, i'd say probably nowadays the delica is going to be a little bit cheaper but even these guys are like now 70 bucks so it's hard because uh like growing up you know uh, when i was at that point of wanting to buy these knives they were genuinely like 40 50 60 bucks and now these guys are like 70 80 100 dollars so a lot of these prices have increased unfortunately so the attainability for you know like a teenager might not be as high but genuinely speaking, once again, if you're one of those people, you know, that um, is expeditious, you can find yourself, you know, like mowing a few lawns. Once again, you know, get $20 per lawn that you mow. And, uh, you know, after a week's worth of work, you know, you have, you know, let's say, 70 bucks that you can go out and buy a knife like this with. So something like the Delica is pretty attainable for, I would say, most uh, kind of beginners or people who are, you know, getting into knives. Um, something like the Delica 4 would be another solid choice. Once again, the back lock is one of those that's not personally my favorite because it can lead to biting because you do initially when you disengage the lock, your fingers are invariably going to be you know, in the path of the knife or the blade. But for the most part, I would say lock backs are pretty intuitive. They are one of the older styles of locking knives. Okay, the next one up, and I think the one that I will call the last for the beginner blades is going to be the Andrew Demko or Demko Knives 8020.5. I think this is another one that, unfortunately, it's a little bit more expensive, but once again, if you are one of those more patient people, uh, you know, if you're like a younger teen or something, you can put in the work, you know, you can work, cut a few more lawns, you know, be a little bit more expeditious, I guess you could say. There's definitely ways to raise money. It, to get something that's, you know, around $120, $140. Um, but something like this 8020.5 is going to serve you really, really well. Um, this is one that is super user friendly, very easy to open, very easy to close. And once again, the shark lock, similar to the access lock, is one of those that when you go to disengage it, your finger 
your fingers are out of the way or out of the path of the knife as it comes to close. So that is a very nice uh, point to them. But yeah, these Aus 10A Taiwanese made Demco 8020.5s are I think a really good value option for someone who is wanting to step into knives. You know, once again, they know they want to get into a more expensive knife and they want to, you know, like get something that's a little bit higher quality, something that's not going to break, you know, it doesn't have any lock rock in it. Um, this is another really solid choice. So those are some of the beginner knives for me, in my opinion. Like I said, my first beginner knives were a Wenger Hiker, and then of course the Benchmade Griptilian, once I knew that I wanted to get into knives a little bit more. And so unfortunately, nowadays, some of these knives are not as affordable as they used to be, tragically. So it might be harder for a younger you know, teenager to be able to raise the funds to get them, but I will say if you end up with any of the knives on this list, even the Delica, which should still run, you know, sub $100, um, you know, you're not going to be disappointed with any of them. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully it was helpful. And as always, God bless and I'm out.